Hi, Yoga Girl and Yoga Dog here to say hi and and talk a little bit more about yoga. I've been um, talking to a lot of people, former students, um, students that I have, uh, uh, you know, I can do, and and people that have just been asking me a little bit more about yoga, and I find myself. You know, repeating that uh, yoga is for everybody. It's not, to me, an exercise class. It's not uh, something that only people who are limber can do. And I find it that it's it's a way for people to cope. I came home from a really, really good show tonight. You should go see it. It's uh, a show in Princeton. Uh, Chimera Productions is doing After Ashley, and it's a show with brilliant acting and a really wonderful script. Um, it's just, it makes you think a lot and makes me think about this world today and whew, how much uh, sadness there is and crazy things that happen. Um, yeah, I, I guess it's, you know, the television I watch or or books that I read but I, I I do have a little bit of fear I walk around I open the door to my uh, place and I think someone could be in there or walking down the street and there's a little bit of fear but at least I have something that helps me through my day um, not only the fear, but the things that actually are there. Uh, family, health, um, people losing jobs. There's a lot of stuff to deal with. And what do we do? Um, I know a lot of people who do exercise, and that's wonderful. They, they jog or they go work out three to five days a week, and it helps them, which is awesome. And then there's other people that I just feel so much for, that they're struggling, that they're looking for some way of coping with this crazy world that we live in. And uh, really, everything from all of my practices and all of my classes that I've taken on yoga and yoga healing and meditation, um, all the nutrition stuff that I know, I just feel like it all can be wrapped up in yoga, the philosophy of yoga. Yoga to me is um, walking down the street and seeing the garbage and picking it up. I feel a little bit better. I've done something. Um, yoga to me is seeing that someone needs the door held open for them and running over and holding the door open. It's a mindfulness. It's a walking around uh, feeling a part of the world and um, that I can help because a lot of times oh, the stuff that we see on TV, the news, the things in the paper, um, you, you feel kind of helpless and it's overwhelming. But yoga, the practices, my meditation in the morning, helps me feel like I can just do this little, little thing. If nothing else, I can think about this person, send them some healing, prayer, um, hope they're getting some joy today. Uh, people that I know that need it, people who I haven't met yet, people um, that I you know might meet on the street that day, being more aware of how I can help. And Another thing that I keep talking about with my students is breath work. How some of the yogis say, the masters say that the most important thing is the breath work. If you can only do that in your daily routine. So today we're going to do Analoma Veloma, alternate nostril breathing. I thought I'd share that with you. And um, Yoga Dog, I guess, wants to do some too, right? All right, so it goes like this. 
you take your fist and let go of your pinky, your ring finger, and your thumb. And you're going to gently just relax your elbow maybe on your chest if it helps you. And you're going to use these two fingers to close off your left nostril and use your thumb to cross, close off your right nostril. And you can do the opposite if you're a lefty. I'm a righty. And you're going to, in the very beginning, if you haven't practiced this at all, you're just going to practice back and forth. So we take a breath. Close off the left nostril. Exhale out the right side. Inhale right. And then exhale out the left side. And you just continue back and forth. You breathe in. Switch and exhale. Now this Analoma Baloma alternate nostril breathing is so relaxing, so focusing, and if you practice it, it really does balance you. It's the right and left hemispheres of your brain, the male and female energies that everybody has. It balances you and you can seem a little bit more at peace with the world, able to deal with more. If you're stressed out, this is an excellent one. So after you practice this back and forth for a little while, a couple days, a week, a month, when you get comfortable with that, you can add in some holding. So you take a breath. Close off the right side. Exhale out the left. And it's exhale for eight. Inhale for four. Close off both sides for 16. Exhale right. Inhale right. For four, hold. Fifteen, sixteen. Exhale. For eight. Inhale, four. Hold. Fifteen, sixteen. Exhale. Five, six, seven, eight. Inhale, four. Hold. Exhale for eight. And you can do 10, 20 rounds. Stay quiet afterwards. Take a few breaths on your own. Notice how good you feel. Notice maybe a little bit of tingling around the face and the head. And then when you've practiced this for quite a while, never jump to doing a lot of pranayama, a lot of breathing exercises, it can actually hurt you. So months of that, and then you can step it up a little bit and you'd hold, you breathe in, hold for 20, exhale for 10, inhale for five, hold 20, exhale 10. So you can step it up incrementally like that. So I hope that was a little bit of help for you. And let me know. Let me know how you're coping with this crazy world that we're living in. Um, yoga is just one way, and it's been helping me a lot. And I know that a lot of people have been coming to me and saying that's been helping them too. So have a wonderful wonderful evening, day, or whatever time you're watching this, and may you be happy and healthy and spread that with everybody you know. Namaste.